this video, I am going to document how to get started with the CapCut video editing app. This is what we are going to do today. First thing I will show you is how to start a new project. Then I will talk about adding a new video clip. Then I'll show you how to play a video clip inside CapCut. Then we'll learn how to trim the video clip. Next, we'll join two video clips from within CapCut. How to adjust the workspace. We'll join three video clips. How to delete, how to undo, how to insert a new clip, and how to rearrange the clips. Finally, I will show you how to export the whole project as one single edited video clip okay that's what we'll do today and then in the next lesson i will talk about adding titles adding music adding transitions adding effects and more you can use iphone or android phone you can't use desktop so i've already installed CapCut. i'm gonna tap on the app and this is the first thing you see so the first thing first, let's start a new project. You can see right at the top, the big plus sign. Tap on the plus sign to start a new project. And then in the next screen, you will see a gallery. Choose the video clips that you want to edit. So let me scroll down. I want to add this one that I recently shot. Okay, which is this shot. And go to the bottom. You see the green button called Add. So I'm going to tap on Add. All right, that takes us to our workspace. On the top is the preview panel. The video will play in this preview monitor. At the bottom here, where I'm scrolling, that's called the timeline. In the timeline is where we do all our editing. You see our film strip stretched out. As I move the timeline, you see the preview monitor playing. At the bottom, you will see a row of tools. So that's called the toolbar. So the next thing you need to know is how to play the video clip on the timeline. There's two things you need to know. Play button and the play hit, the white line below the play button. Wherever the white line is over the film strip, you will see it in the preview monitor. I'm going to drag the film strip to the beginning and play this video clip. I'm going to press the play button now. Are you looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight? Let me show you what I've got. Okay, okay so it plays all the way to the end. I can also drag the timeline to any part and play. Gimbal that's compact and lightweight. And I can also pause at any time. So the play button will turn into a pause button. So I can play, oh pause, play, pause. So now let's move on to the next item, trimming a video clip. So how do we trim a video clip? Okay, what are we gonna trim? If you notice when I play back this video clip, there was a silence in front and then there's a silence at the back. I want the video to start immediately when I start talking which is somewhere here. Are you looking for a gimbal that's We're going to trim away the silent portion from the beginning of my video clip. First, select the video clip by tapping on it. You notice when you select a video clip, there is a white enclosure around the clip and on the edge is a thick vertical rectangle. It is for us to tap and hold and drag inwards. Okay, I'm dragging in to the point where I am going to start. Let go. So this dragging actually remove the front silent part. So let's play back and check right from the beginning to see if I've trimmed away the silence part. Press play. Are you looking for a gimbal that's... Okay, perfect. Pause. Let's play all the way to the, to the last word. Are you looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight? Let me show you what I've got. Boss, this is my last word. So the rest are silence. I don't want. So I'm going to trim it. Tap and hold on the thick vertical edge at the end of my video clip and drag it inwards. Can you see the timing? Timing is over here. It's about slightly more than six seconds. So let's play back from the beginning and listen. Press play. Are you looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight? 
Let me show you what I've got. We just trimmed a video clip using CapCut. What's next? We are going to join two video clips. We already have the first one. I'm going to bring in a second one to join with the first one. How to bring in a second video clip? That's where the plus symbol comes in at the corner. I'm going to tap on the plus now. Yep, that brings us back to the gallery. I am going to choose this one. So all I have to do is select it. How to select it? Select it by pressing the circle on the top right hand corner of that thumbnail. If you don't know what you're selecting, you can tap on a clip and playback before you select it. If I tap on this, you watch, it will start playing. It can turn 360 degrees. So that's called previewing your clip before you bring it into the timeline for editing. Now, if this is the one you want, okay, this is not the one I want. Let me let me select the one I want. So this is the one. Three, when I'm not using it as a gimbal, I can use okay, it. Okay, pause. This is the clip that I want. If I want it, I tap on the circle on the top right. And then I tap on the, the add green button on the bottom right. Tap on add. There you go. So it has added two clips, one after another. I will drag my timeline to the beginning at zero seconds and press play. Are you looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight? Let it's going to join to the next clip. I've got three when I'm not yep, using it. Yep, it joined to the next clip. I can use it as a tripod. Okay, so I just joined two clips in the timeline using CapCut. I'm going to trim this second clip, but before that, I want to show you something. Adjusting the workspace. Most of the, the editing is done inside the timeline. And we have been moving the timeline left and right by dragging and it gets longer and longer. So sometimes we want to see the overall view. I want to see how many clips I have. One thing I like to do is pinch, pinch the timeline to make it smaller. I can see two clips now. So that's how to see an overall view. But when we want to do precise editing, we have to pinch out. Let's call it spread. We got to spread out to do precise editing. We are going to trim the second clip that we just added in. I could have stopped the demonstration here, but we'll go one more step further. In this demonstration, I only, I'm going to have three clips. So this will, this will be the last clip of my video. So I'm going to tap on it to check. Preview. Did you like what I just showed you? Pause. So this is what I want. I will go to the top right-hand corner to select the circle and I tap on a green add button. Okay, tap on the add button. I'm going to pinch to check. Yep, so I have one clip, two clip, three clips. All right, so I just joined three clips. I'm going to trim this clip. Okay, now let's, let's listen to the beginning of this third clip. Play. Did you like what I just... No, too much. I trimmed too much. Now, if I trim too much, what happens? Don't worry, I can trim it back again or untrim it back Okay, by holding it on the trim bar and go to the other direction. I can even go all the way to bring everything back. Okay, I'm going to trim this one. So I just joined three clips. So now I want to talk about deleting, undo, insert and rearrange because you need to, to sometimes make mistakes. Okay, for example, if I were to add in a wrong clip, how to delete? To delete, all we have to do is to select the clip that we want to delete and look at the toolbar, look for the bin delete icon, tap on the delete, tap on it, there it's gone. Now, if you make a mistake, like for example, if I trim too much, the undo command is here. Tap on undo command to bring it back. So now I'm going to show you insert. What if I've already laid out three clips and I say, hey, I want to insert one clip between the first and second clip. How do I do that? So first thing is you have to move your timeline to match the insertion point. And all we have to do is to tap on the plus button on the right hand side of the timeline. Tap on it and we are back at the video gallery. So let's say I want to add this clip. I can select from here and then tap on add over here. Now, if you can see, it's added in. 
So now we will learn to do rearranging. What if you realize that you could improve the video by putting this as a second last clip instead of the second clip? Okay, here's how you rearrange clips. Okay, all you have to do is to tap and hold to select the clip and then move it. Now you see every clip has turned into a square. So you move the, the selected clip to the position that you want, right? I say I want to put it on as a second last video clip, which is here, and then I drop. The last step is to export the project. What do we mean by export? Okay, export means we are going to compile all these three separate clips into one clip. All we have to do is to go to the top right hand corner where you see an up arrow, tap on the up arrow, and we are in the export menu. Okay, in the export menu, the first option you see is the resolution. We have like 480p, 720p, and 1080p. CapCut doesn't do 4K. The second option is frame rate. It starts from 24, then we have 25, 30, 50, and 60. It usually defaults to 30 and I leave it there. So sometimes I do 60 if I shot the videos at 60, but now it's just a regular video. So I leave it at 30 frames per second. And then it was estimate the file size here. All I have to do now is tap on export, right? Ready? I'm going to tap on the export button. And that's how it exports. There, it's done. Now it's done. When you, when you see this done button here, it's done. I finished editing. So now let's go to our gallery to check that, that new video. Go back to my gallery. Okay, and it sits right here. Let's play back. If you're looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight, let me show you what I've got. When I'm not using it as a gimbal, I can use it as a tripod. Did you like what I just showed you? You can get your own smooth q2 by going to the link below so how did you find video editing with the CapCut mobile video editing app was that easy you can do this on your tablet as well so in the next CapCut tutorial for beginners i'm going to talk about how to add titles music and sound effects how to add transitions and a lot more so if you want to follow my CapCut tutorial for beginner and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and if you haven't done so subscribe this is Adrian Lee see you in the next one